But let's start off with that Notre Dame versus Navy game. One that, like I said, it's a ranked matchup. This is just absolutely, I, I mean, it's it's so weird to think of this game uh, being a ranked game, being a game that ha- has any kind of, you know, implications if one team were to lose, uh, you know, specifically. So, I mean, for really for both teams, if either team, wh- whoever loses this game, you don't have a shot in making the college football playoff. Yeah. You don't have if Notre Dame is is on their last leg because they are not in a conference with two losses. They don't make the college football playoff. They're not in that top 12 spot. Navy, you, you're probably not going to get there even if you're undefeated. I mean, you have a hard time to get there if you're if you're undefeated. That's that, that's crazy to think about. You have to get in there and you can't have one loss. Uh, if you're going to get in there, because there's other teams that I think are, are a group of five teams right like Boise, uh, who would be brought up before Navy. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's that's it's crazy to think about. But <laughs> the one loss in this game means, uh, you know, quite a bit towards whoever it is that ends up picking up that loss. So that's that's a, a pretty thing, crazy thing to think about. And just to think about the fact that Navy and or Army both even have a shot at anything this year. Yeah. Both undefeated through this this point of the season. It's definitely been unbelievable or just crazy, just realistically. Like the like Navy and Army are, are two teams like everyone the will they will talk about them, but not in this kind of aspect, just because everyone's used to them talking about the Army Navy game. But like it, Navy has definitely came along this year and they have surprised a heck of a lot of people. That's to say the least, Josh. But like you you gotta realize there's a lot of these teams on the outside looking in, especially getting coming to crunch time when you looking for this playoff bubble and they're definitely trying to crawl their way into making their name known for themselves but Notre Dame they're definitely going to be having to go against a tough opponent this <clears> week <throat> um Notre Dame's been able to, they've been able to put points up on the board but like you look at it realistically like Navy they they may do beat them out a little bit but like there's some pros and cons that you look on both sides of the ball obviously so realistically I think it's going to be a shootout like if I had to say so like oh yeah yeah Notre, Notre Dame like don't get me wrong they've they've had their ups and downs and so has Navy but I mean you look at the car like Navy's just proven to everybody in the college world this year that they're here to mean business, and it's definitely a really big eye opener for a lot of people. Yeah, and and I know Navy. You know, I think they're ranked like a hundred and thirty first or something like that, something and then they like basically that. towards the bottom uh, in in still, strength of schedule. Yeah, but uh, you know, this is the second time in forty five years that these two teams play as a top 25 team the second time in 45 years that they play as a top 25 team it's just you don't see this from the from from the military schools coming up you know and 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 doing so well this far into the season and and not just the fact that it's it's not this normal navy offense that we're used to seeing you know between the navy midshipmen and and the you know in between uh, them and army you're not used to seeing anything outside of the triple option. We're just going to run it down your throat. And that's mm-hmm. really all you see. This Navy team is not that anymore. No, they're very good at passing, uh, you know, and, and it, a couple of things. So Navy leads the nation in pre snap movement, which is great to throw off a defense. Yeah. You just keep on moving around. And now the defense has to look around and try to figure out what formation they're in and how we're going to set up now. Maybe they started off in a formation that looks uh, more like it could be a pass play and they shift into a run. And now we've got to try to adjust for that. Uh, and then all of a sudden, just because they shifted there, you adjust yourself and then they still ended up going off with, with the original play that you were predicting. Uh, you know, they're, they're very good at that. Uh, and, they like to run a lot of tricky plays. They run reverses. They run, uh, you know, a running back slash wide receiver pass. You know, yeah. they, they do these kinds of things that you see out of top teams, mm-hmm. out of top ranked teams. Uh, another thing, too, I think that, you know, it's it's very easy to look at, at Notre Dame and recognize that Notre Dame is bigger than Navy. Notre Dame can... It, Honestly, if we look at this game, Notre Dame knows, and we all know that they can go in there and they can play bully ball with these guys and and reverse the roles where yeah. we're just going to run it down your throat and we're going to use our big guys up front. We're gonna you, you you can't stop us. And even though Navy has let up, you can see on the on the screen there, Navy's let up quite a few yards uh, per game. You know, four hundred one point eight yards per game. That's quite a few, but that's usually between the 20s because they're actually ranked number nine for red zone touchdowns allowed. I mean, in the nation. We're talking about them being ranked top 10 in the nation, tied at number nine, and I forget who it was that was tying them. 
Uh, and then another crazy stat is that they rank 132nd in the nation in plays ran on offense. So they run a lot of plays on offense. And so you would think like, man, they have to run, you know, uh, you know, uh, or uh, sorry, that they, they don't run very much offense. So you would think like, man, if they're not running very, very much offense, they're ranked 132nd. So they don't run very many plays at all. That means they're going out there and getting three and outs, right? Yeah. No, that's much. not the case. Yeah. Uh, they ranked, even though that they don't have very many plays on offense, they rank seventh in the nation for yards per play. Wow. So, I mean, this is a very efficient offense that is not scared to air the ball out no not scared to throw a little bit of trickery in there and they just want to put the ball in the end zone and win a game i, I mean i mean this is this is a different navy team than we're used to seeing and th they've got a lot of guts uh, they, and they're they're very good uh the big thing to me is will notre dame be able to use their size and pound the rock and, and be able to utilize that in their favor i think that's the only way i mean they, they have to try to keep this a low scoring game if this is a lower scoring game and i'm thinking you know in the teens uh really? you know uh, under under that 50 and a half if it, if it hits the under i think notre dame can win if this is a higher scoring game think I, I think it's go. a shootout and, and i'm not saying that navy will win this game but but I think it's it's going to be a, a damn close one regardless. I don't think this is. I mean I, I think that fourteen point spread is kind of crazy. I think at one point it was fifteen and a half. Really? I think that's crazy. I think it's much closer than that. Yeah. And uh, I, I think Navy keeps themselves in it with kind of that explosive offense. Yeah, I, I can definitely see Navy being in this. Like you said, Navy being able to have so many options to what they can do and try and throw off Notre Dame's defense. It's definitely going to be a real big challenge for Notre Dame and just to make sure they don't get any infractions or anything like that. Just to go go like their original game plan and hopefully like you said get those big get those big guys down in the trenches make them play bully ball and show navy what they can truly mean but it's definitely gonna be a fun one to watch josh yeah yeah it's gonna be a really crazy one yeah. uh and like i said i mean i i wouldn't i i think that that 14 point spread is a little crazy yeah, i, I would i would lean away from that just because yeah. maybe vegas knows what they're talking about uh that that's know. very possibly uh, the case you know very much possibly the case but I just I just don't know. Uh, it, it's a it's a crazy game to think about that. Um, but let's go ahead and jump on to our next matchup. Uh, we'll, we'll bounce back. You got any any predictions on that one? <sighs> I don't want to give anything what, away. What, what about winner? Winner. Here, here's here's another stat. I think uh, I think I saw something where Marcus Freeman at Notre Dame. The Notre Dame under Marcus Freeman is eleven, uh, eleven and two. So eleven wins, two losses against the spread. So that means like. Him covering that spread mm. is pretty likely. The only one this season that he hasn't covered the spread on was the loss to, to Northern yeah, Illinois. Yeah. Ever since then, though, they've been on fire. They've been looking more like the Notre Dame that we expected. And it's in Navy. Uh, this one is actually this, this is South actually uh, no, it's it's actually uh, at uh, MetLife Stadium. Oh, so okay. Met, the biggest game at MetLife has seen all season <laughs> so far because the Jets yeah, suck. No, yeah, no kidding. The Giants suck. Oh um, boy. But, yeah. Uh, it's 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 a it's a crazy game. I, I I think Notre Dame is more likely to win this game, yeah. and, and I think they win it in a in a close one. If I'm if I'm being realistic with this game, I think they win it with a last minute touchdown. Maybe you know somewhere between four to eight points is what, where I'm kind of feeling this one. The, the way that I'm seeing it, it's gonna. Be, <clears throat> I in that similar sense, Notre Dame winning on a last minute touchdown or. Navy winning on a field goal. And the way the Navy wins games is they they march the ball down efficiently and they Fumble take they take or... up a lot they take up a lot of time on on the clock. Yeah. So the way I'm kind of seeing this is the best case scenario for this game for if you're a college football fan is Navy gets the ball back with let's say 5 minutes 3 minutes. 3 minutes. Yeah, about 3 minutes, maybe maybe 4 minutes max. And just choose the clock down, and Notre Dame maybe gets the ball back with less than a minute left. Th then you see like Navy just marched it down there, wasted a lot of time, got the ball in the end zone. They go up. Now Notre Dame has a desperation. Maybe they make it. Maybe they don't. Regardless, maybe great game. And this is a rivalry game too, yeah, which is kind is. of weird to say i don't know how you can be a rival with your own naval Com uh, academy Academy. i think that's what my words were yeah. trying to say at first but your, your own naval academy and you're, and you're gonna have a rivalry with them I don't, I don't think that's a smart move so 
If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You can watch the rest of the video, the full episode, right up here in this corner. So go check that out. And uh, if you would, just go check out the rest of the channel right down here. We appreciate all of you guys for supporting the channel. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're on our way to 50K right now. So we would greatly appreciate anything you'd be able to do to help us out. You can find out everything we do over at rising2.com. That's R-I-S-I-N-G-T-O.com. And please follow us on social media. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, X, formerly known as Twitter, all of that stuff. So go check us out over there. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time.